السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله سؤال الله عز وجل سيز من القرآن that those who fear Allah those who have taqwa and have sabr patience Allah will help them from areas they never knew existed so there's a story of a, a young man who he was a scholar in the deen of Islam and he was very very poor and this was right after uh, the death of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. so he would go around searching the whole Arabian Peninsula for the hadith of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. so one day he was on a road and uh, he found a uh, he found a, a purse and in this purse there was a, a pearl a, 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 a string of pearls so he went to his abode and uh, he thought about uh, what to do with this uh, string of pearls and he made the istikhara. So after, after he made the prayer, he, a man was yelling in the street, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu! Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu! Oh you who believe! Oh you who believe! Return my purse of pearls and I will give you 500 gold dinari. So the brother called out, he said, oh, man, come, come. And he said, what type of bag, what color bag was it? How many pearls was on this string of pearls? And asked him about the bag. And when he, when he thought that the man was the owner, he returned to him his merch. So the man tried to give him the 500 dinari, dinar of gold. And the brother refused. He said, la, 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 I do not deserve this. He said, this is your property. It is your right to have this. As the property of a, of a Muslim is haram for a Muslim. I must protect it. So, so the man left. So many years passed. And uh, the brother was going all, all around gathering hadith. So he went on a ship. And the ship came across a storm. And the storm shattered the, the ship. And the brother was on a plank, and he and he and he uh, came into a uh, into an island. And on the island, there were people there who were Muslims. Alhamdulillah. So he went to the masjid. When he arrived at the masjid, he started reading Quran. And the brothers said, "Oh, you know how to read?" Yes. The brother said, "Yes." He said, "You know how to write?" The brother said, "Yes." He said, "Yeah." Uh, they, awesome, Alhamdulillah. So they watched him for a little bit and they said, Oh, we will, please, will you be our Imam? So he became their Imam. Then he said, that They said, uh, The Imam should, should be married. So they brought him an orphan girl whose father had left her some resources. When, when on their wedding night, the brother met the, the, his uh, future Zawush and on her neck was a string of pearls. And he recognized the string of pearls. And he was looking at it. And the sister noticed that he was looking at her string of pearls. And she went away upset because she thought that the brother was only after her resources. So the, 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 the brothers came back and said, why did you say it to the sister? She's upset. She said, you're after her resources. He said, la, la. He said, I know this roll of pearls. I gave this roll of pearls to the owner many, many years ago. And he offered me something in return, and I, I, I could not accept it because it was not my right. And they started saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And they said, why are you so happy? He said, the owner of these pearls was her father. He told us a story of a young man who found the pearls and would not accept 500 denarius for it. And he always wanted to, to see this man again so that he could marry off his daughter to him. But he passed away. And look, you were about to marry his daughter. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And so, the reason I tell this story, brothers, is because we don't know what we're going through, why we're going through the things we're going through, but that we fear Allah, that we have patience, sabr, and Allah will help us from, from places we know not existed. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers.